man, so much going on. Election not conceded yet. We have a new vaccine from Pfizer, over 90% effective, COVID-19, which has resulted in huge whipsaws in the market, right? I mean, you're looking at rotations, really. And the SP 500, the, the, the Dow, not really a reflection of what's actually going on, right? I mean, the Dow is just a price way to index. It's, you know, great if you're in there. It's not a big deal in terms of, of being a barometer of the markets. And then you have the SP 500, where the top five companies represent, what, 22, 23% of the total index. But looking within the SP 500, the individual sectors, what's going on? The rotation out of momentum, out of big tech into cyclicals like travel. Airlines, cruises, oil stocks, banks should sound pretty familiar to you. I'll break down a lot of that later. We're going to start things off a little different today. I'm going to read a letter to you that was sent to me from a very special person. It says, Dear Frank, my name is Anthony, and I'm a Master Chief of the United States Navy with 19 years of faithful service. I am a hovercraft pilot, aka craftsmaster, and Navy rescue swimmer. The hovercraft gig is pretty funny. Flying around the ocean at 50 plus knots sideways is always a good day. I've been listening to you for some years now, and I'm a subscriber to a few of your products. I love them all. Anyway, my reason for writing you is mainly to say thanks. You personally have made a difference out there in Japan for quite a few people. You have taught and advised me in the investing world, which in turn I've used to educate my sailors. So for that, a huge thanks to you and your team at Curzio Research. I'm a self-taught analyst, as well I try to be, I was forcing myself to learn or to educate my sailors has become a mission of mine. I truly wish there was somebody in my corner doing the same thing for me when I was younger and coming up through the ranks. These kids throw money at stocks without any idea to why it's a good buy or not. Most would come to me after suffering losses, and when I posed the question, why did you buy this, the common answer was, they thought it was going up. Then I asked the second question, why was it going up? And that's where the pause and hesitation came. They didn't have a clue as to why... They were doing what they were doing. This is what motivated me to learn more. Over the years, we have started an investor club group that has only continued to grow. It feels good to hear the same folks talk about some key ratios, earnings, financial status, etc. I'm sure you get to the point. Now, they're actually capable of going back and forth on why a stock is a good buy or not. Knowing that I've inspired these sailors and Marines is quite a good feeling. Watching these guys grow is amazing, and they're smart as heck. This is all a direct result of you. The way you tell it, the way you keep it real, the lessons, the advice, the list goes on. Honestly, I'm just a dumb dude who grew up poor in the project of Borson and only joined the military to find a steady paycheck. I never look back. I've done pretty well for myself. Never in a million years did I think this is where I could be and what I'd be doing, but I love it. If you're reading this, then our token of appreciation has arrived. The paddle is a Navy tradition to give a sailor as a special thanks or to see them off as they transfer to another unit. To describe your paddle, there's a Craftsmaster breast insignia mounted on the top of the handle. The insignia is what we get pinned with after graduating nine months of intense trading on operating on a 300,000 pound, 20,000 <laughs> horsepower piece of machinery. Decorated down a shaft is a Boatwain's mate's fancy line work. I've tried to do it for years and still no joy. It truly is an art. Further down, the wide part is a Master Chief Anchor, which is my current rank. Only 1% of people who enlist in the Navy are selected to Master Chief. Below the Anchor is our units patch with all of our craft numbers, the American Japanese flag and the Japanese symbol for 7. We are Naval Beach Unit 7. We refer to ourselves as Pirates and Cowboys. Additionally, there are three Chiefs Mess Coins. Military Challenge Coin Traditions are another of the many things we do. They're given to recognize remarkable achievements and are used to reward our sailors. That being said, we would love for you to give one to your mother for the remarkable recovery she has made. Lastly, you inspired me to start a newsletter of my own someday. Though they could be better, I've already created some letters using Y charts and people are loving them. They are learning. I just recently heard about the clinic that you are holding and would love to sign up when it becomes available. So he's saying him is invest him is unit learning bat. So I'm dedicated, resourceful hard worker, and would love to learn under your guidance. Only thing is, is a time difference due to the fact that I currently even live in Japan. But hey, if there's a will, there's a way. Once I retire from the Navy, this is a life I want to live. Heck, I even have my five-year-old looking at charts, which she loves, by the way. Well, Frank, thank you and your team for all you do. And that's Anthony, Master Chief. 
I got this a couple of months ago, and we now do videos, right? Every every podcast is audio video, and and for the video portion of this, I'm going to show this amazing, amazing paddle here. Uh, and here it is where it says, Frank Curzio, thank you for keeping it real. I mean, the stitching on this, it, it's unbelievable. And as you can see, you know, look, it, it, it's, you know, even when you turn it over on the back, um, it says, from the Cowboys and Pirates at Naval Beach Unit 7. And then it has probably around 15 of his sailors saying, just, you know, has little notes that they wrote. You share everything. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Frank, for everything. Thanks for all the lessons and stuff like that. So you could see how much time and effort goes into this and everything I read you, which is pretty amazing. Again, uh, you can go to Curzio Research YouTube page. That's absolutely for free, guys. I just think it's really cool. I like stuff like that when it comes to podcasts. When, uh, uh, you know, I'm, even ESPN's podcast or, or, you know, CNBC's, it's, you know, it's cool to watch the video version of it than, than just listen. So, but you have, uh, you know, access to both but if you came me through that letter the first time i read i was really choked up and then you know i got a little choked up again where i think i messed up a couple sentences but uh uh yeah i wanted to read this today specifically uh if you look at our country right now especially in terms of politics i mean there's a clear division right uh and this division is in terms of our beliefs of how america can prosper and continue to be the leader of the free world. And a lot of those emotions run high sometimes, right? It gets pretty crazy. But if there's one thing that we could come together on, it's support for our military, which so many of us take for granted. And these are the people who fight for our right to post whatever we want on Twitter and Facebook, whether we're angry or not, to protect our constitution, to make sure we're all safe while we basically, you know, argue with each other on the new iPhones, in our new cars, while we drink clean water and basically have access to an unlimited supply of food, we take that for granted. We all do. We all do. And for me, traveling, if I could tell you, if you're a millennial traveler to other countries, you got to really appreciate the country you live in. You really will, which is amazing. And a lot of this is given to us because of our veterans. And it is Veterans Day. And these people have fought for us. These people should never be forgotten. This is something that... that uh, um, you know, just truly honored, you know, to just to be living in this country, to be able to do this podcast on Wall Street Unplugged. Can this platform exist because of these people? Our freedoms exist because of these people? You can't understate that, guys. So I don't care what side you're on. We're going to have emotions when it comes to lots of different things, especially politics. But at the end of the day, listen, for Veterans Day, supporting all those veterans uh, who fought for us, who... Their mission and goal is to protect us, to protect our constitution, to give us these freedoms. And it's very important that we address that today. And not just the veterans, but the people currently in the military, like Anthony, who, you know, his Pirates and Cowboys, Naval Beach Unit 7, thank you so much for protecting us. Thanks for all you do. You guys are truly the heroes. And I really, really appreciate that. I can't tell you that how much that paddle meant to me and showing my family and giving my mom uh, that badge it, it, it was you know it was just unbelievable and i really appreciate that and when i do when i do open this up for this clinic anthony you're going to be first there i'm going to open up to 10 to 15 people i said i wanted to launch a token first i'm going to create a clinic and teach 15 people pretty much everything i know the only thing i want you to do is pass it on when you guys get to that level pass it on that's the job that's all of our jobs. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. Our job is to make the next generation better than ours. And you do that by sharing, not holding things back. Okay? And everything that I've learned, the teachers I've learned from, and I've been incredibly fortunate and incredibly lucky, right? My dad was just into this industry, learning from him at the dinner table, talking stocks when I was 10 years old, all the way to the point where I have Curzio Research and we launched the first ever, you know, equity token, which I'll get to in a minute. But on Veterans Day, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for everything that you did. And when it comes to that class, when I open it up, I'm going to do it soon, probably in January, I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to select people. I do not want your resume. The letter that you just heard me read, that's what I want to see. I want to see the passion. 
I don't care what you did in the past, okay? Because you can write anything on a piece of paper and look good. But you can't motivate people. And this is only for, I will probably be kicking people out of this class if I think they're not giving it 100%. But it's going to be open to 10, 15 people, mostly young people, who want to learn about the markets. And man, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. But Anthony, I promise that you are number one and be enlisted in that class when I start. Hopefully, I'll have enough time. I should have enough time to do it in January. So as you know, our Curzu Equity Owners Token is now free trading on the Merge Exchange. Still getting lots of questions, which is great. Addressing all those questions, send a Frank Curzu Uh So Curzu Equity Owners, CEO, this is a security token where you will actually own an equity stake in Curzu Research, just like owning a stock, right? And we tend on paying a dividend. We already paid a quarterly dividend. We tend on paying it again. I have to say intend. So, you know, trying to make this a growth and income play. That's our job. But the CEO token is the first ever security token to trade in a global exchange that's available to retail investors. And I know you probably heard me say that a lot through this podcast, all read about this since our story was picked up. Major media outlets, Yahoo Finance, Forbes, Benzinga, Market Watch, you know, tons of them, uh, dozens more. But the reason I created this token and put my name on it along with my reputation, I mean, you could see right behind me, right? You got... Cursor Research, right? Name's on the door. But the reason why I did is because I truly believe in this revolutionary idea. It's going to make it easier for every company to raise money to grow their business without having to pay those millions of dollars to investment banks. You don't have to be part of a club anymore. It's different. We all have pretty cool businesses, right? You own your business, you want to grow, you have a growth plan, and maybe investors might be interested in it. And it sucks if you're doing less than $10 million in sales because uh, you're probably not going to be able to go public or do anything like that. Or you know, doing a private round is, isn't so easy, right? And that's another thing with here when it comes to security tokens. Because it's giving investors the opportunity to invest in companies on the ground floor, right? Not when they IPO what we're seeing today with multi-billion dollar valuations like Palantir or Snowflake, when most of the growth's already taken place. And the best part what I was just talking about is you're not locked up for seven to 10 years, which the average lockup period for private investments, you know, that's the time frame. A good example is Airbnb. I mean, founded in 2008, probably started raising money 2010, 11, 12, you know, started really getting big as a concept went, you know, viral. It's not a publicly traded company yet. And the only way you could really cash out is maybe if you know somebody in one of those rounds when they raise money because you could sell it to them. But most people won't be able to cash out unless Airbnb gets taken over or they IPO, which they haven't done yet. But your money is locked up. With security tokens, it's 12 months if you do the offering, if you're a credit investor. And then after that 12 months, now you have the chance to buy a company like ours, Curzio Research. And it's a risky company. We're a small cap. Maybe people were doing videos and they say, Frank, you're an ugly guy and that's it. We don't want to deal with you anymore. Whatever it is. You know, maybe people hate financial newsletters. They don't like my opinion anymore. Whatever. It is a risky company. But, the, but what happens if magically I'm able to turn this into a billion dollar operation? You're in on the ground floor. That's the benefit of this industry. It checks off every single box. It's just a massive benefit to everyone, whether it's issuers, whether it's investors. Really, really exciting. That's why I chose to do our CEO token. So this is an industry I truly believe, truly believe there's going to be a trillion dollars in 10 years. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure we're smack in the middle of that amazing growth trend. And why? Because when you look at this industry, it reminds me of the early tech days in the 1990s or the early 1990s, right? Internet technology really started taking off. Yes, we all know about the 2000 crash. Yes, in March, you know, the 10 years leading up to that, though, it was unbelievable. And now look, you know, how much further we've come in terms of innovation when it comes to the internet and speeds and 5G, data analytics, AI, I can keep going here. I don't need to tell you what Amazon, Microsoft, Qualcomm, Apple traded back then in the early 90s. This is an opportunity to do the same. 